Today's video is all about how I started multiple seven figure businesses from my blog. So I'm going to literally be walking you through how I started my blog and then how I started all my other businesses, the different types of businesses, my strategies for them, why I did certain things at certain times, etc. So that you can maybe go and implement some of my strategies and just why I handled certain things at certain times for your own business. So let's get into the video. I'm so excited about this. This is gonna be more of like a word vomit podcasty style video. So get a drink, get a coffee, put it on when you're driving in your car, and let's go through the history of BSL and how I grew all of the businesses to what it is now. All right, I'm getting comfortable because like I said, this is gonna be a long one and I have my drink. So we're gonna make this more of a casual, casual video. So, um. I'm gonna start from the very beginning and then work up to where we currently are. So I guess I'll, I'll really, really quickly go where we currently are. So currently, um, I have turned the blog into four different businesses. I'll go through the different businesses. They are each like seven figure businesses, which is literally insane. Um, and we have nine employees for all the businesses we have a big office like it's actually crazy but it all started from a blog so let me go back to the blog that i started and walk you through that which if you've watched my other videos you've already heard this beginning part but i feel like you haven't heard some of the things in between on why i did certain things a certain way so um i have just always been like a super type a goal driven type of person like i am not a um relaxed human being <laughs> if you cannot tell that already and so I'm not the type of person that's like I can just let this happen and let's see what this and this happens like no like I have always since my mom says since I was born I needed a plan um I needed goals to hit and that's just how I function so I always knew from basically when I was in high school that I wanted to be an interior designer I just wasn't necessarily sure how I was going to get to that interior design part until I was in college and blogs just started like happening. So at that time I was 19 years old, this was in 2017, and I was going into my sophomore year of college and I kind of had two things playing out. One of the things was that I knew I wanted to be an interior designer and another thing was is that I was completely paying for college on my own. Um, like every single cent was coming from me. And freshman year, I spent like moping about it. Like all my friends are getting college paid for and everyone I'm surrounded around doesn't have to worry about this. Like why do I have to be the one that pays for college? Now I look back and I'm like, it, it changed the trajectory of my life. And I'm so glad that I had to pay for college. And it was really like a snobby thing mindset for me to have, but I, that's what I was surrounded around. Like I didn't know any different. So freshman year, I moped about it. Sophomore year, I was like, okay, bills are starting to come in. I need to figure this out and stop being sad about it and figure out a way to pay these. Um, so those were the two things coming in to play. So basically I started researching, like I was a full-time college student, so I needed a job that I could do around my college schedule. So I started researching different things that I could do for my dorm room. And I stumbled upon a few mom bloggers and they were making like $200,000 a month on their blog and they were doing it while raising kids. And so I was like, okay, if this stay at home mom, which is like the hardest job in the entire planet, is making $200,000 off of her blog that she's doing around her kids, like I can definitely do this around my college schedule and from my dorm room. I had a laptop because of school. Um, so I was like, I can do this. Um, so then I started going back to, okay, what my what is my blog gonna be about? And of course I had interior design, like that's what I'm passionate about. And so I knew that when I went to college, I did not care about decorating my dorm room or I didn't care about going to classes. I cared about decorating my dorm room. Like I would fall asleep at night thinking, what am I gonna do to my dorm room walls? And what am I gonna, how am I gonna make my bed? And like different stuff like that. And I knew that if I cared or if you care in general about decorating your dorm room, you're gonna care eventually about decorating your apartment. And then you're gonna care about decorating your home. So I was like, okay, this is smart. Like I will start a blog on college dorm decor and just college organization. If I cared about decorating my dorm room so much, sh there has to be other people out there that also care about this. And there really wasn't any resources at that time where 
that was like, there was no websites for me to even look at. And I knew also that like, I wasn't at the place where I had enough knowledge to start just to blog on interior design. Like the thing that I knew was dorm decor because I was in it and I had experience and I could talk about that, that experience. So I started the blog. I followed a lot of the same strategies that um, the mom bloggers that I was following, they said like, I basically took what they did and was like, okay, this is how they're starting their blog. I'm copying their strategy until I learn enough where then I can adjust their strategy to work for myself, which is exactly what I recommend for you is copy my strategy. And then once you figure out what actually works for your niche, you can adjust it. But just copying someone and I say copy, like take courses, figure out how they started it, what platforms they're using, etc can help you go grow your blog so much faster instead of you trying to figure out everything on your own because it can get super overwhelming. So I started the blog, um, I started it on a Bluehost. Bluehost was my host, which like, slight plug, I have a blog post going over exactly step by step on how I started my blog that you can find below and it has links and literally one, two, three, four on this is what you do. So that link will be on the, in the description. But I started it on, Bluehost was my host because I was looking to do it as cheap as possible because I literally didn't have money. Sorry for my dog barking in the background. So I was looking to start my blog as cheaply as possible since I literally had no money. And I like babysat extra so that I could get money to start it, which you can do for really inexpensive. But still I was like, I need $30. Like I don't have $30 to start this blog. And thank God I did because that $30 has turned into now like a seven figure business, which is insane. Um, but I started that and then from day one, I took it very seriously. Like I treated it like a full-time job. I did not mess around. I still was taking my full-time class credits. Um, and I would like wake up at 6 a.m. and fit in like two hours of vlogging before then I would have to do classes and I would fit in it at night. And when my friends were going to bars, like I was like, I gotta work. And they're like, what are you working on? And I was like, my blog. And they're like, that's not working. I'm like, yes it is. Um, so I took it really seriously at first, which is so hard to do because not a lot happens those first few months. Like so much of it is, in my case, was taking blogging courses and trying to figure out just how I do it, what is my strategy, like the technical side of things is a lot to pick up and you get no views in the beginning. So it is a lot of upfront work, but I started really quickly learning right away that, okay, I need to focus on SEO. Like that was something that was coming back to me over and over again. So search engine optimization. Um, I also was seeing that bloggers were recommending courses a lot. So I was trying to buy courses so that I could learn their strategies. And um, I was able to learn like that first year that the first way that you make money on your blog is by getting into an ad agency. And the easiest way to get into an ad agency is you have to get page views is by getting on Pinterest. So I was using my blog posts with the biggest thing in mind for my blog post was getting on Pinterest. And so that was my strategy the first year. And my goal the first year in general was to get into an ad agency which is what brought me to Mediavine and the ad agency that I'm with because those mom bloggers that I was following and following their strategy, they were on Mediavine as well. So that was my first goal. And that first two and a half years, all I wrote about was dorm decor. And so I started becoming known, like my blog started growing with dorm decor. And I didn't even realize at the time, like how, I didn't realize how great of a niche dorm decor was um, until I started then getting into affiliate marketing, which is what I started focusing on probably at that like one year or like even maybe a few months before like nine month mark. And once I got into the ad agency, that's when I shifted like, okay, I'm making more money on ads. Now let's start thinking about the affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing, if you don't know, is essentially like when you link something, you will get, in, if you link something and someone buys it, you'll get a small percentage. Um, and what worked out really well for me and how I was able to get money and just something to think about as you're thinking a niche is people buy a lot of stuff when they're going to college. And so I would recommend the dorm sheets that I used or the fan that I had or the desk that I got or the pillows that I had or whatever it was. And people started really buying them, which then increased my ad money. Um, so that first two years was 
pretty much focused just on dorm rooms and I was like, okay, this is actually working. Like I'm starting to make more money. I kept having different income goals where I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna make $100, then I'm gonna make $500, then I'm gonna make 1,000, then I'm gonna make 2,000, then I'm gonna make 5,000, then I'm gonna make 10,000. And by the time that I was like halfway through senior year when I had to start thinking about what I was going to do after the fact, I was like making $10,000 a month. So I was a senior in college making $10,000 a month. And I was like, do I go get a job or do I like just keep up with this blog thing, which was like obviously scary, but I was like, it's working. Like this is my opportunity. And so um, at that point, two and a half years in after I started was when I hired my first employee, which was Sarah. Um, and Sarah's still with the team today and Sarah's like, it's been amazing because we really did a lot of the learning together. And so at that point I was focused a lot on the dorm stuff, like I said, and I was writing about dorm stuff. I was writing about organization because I was really into organization as far as like how I was setting up my dorm room, how I was organizing my classes, my planner and whatnot. And so that's kind of how then the daily started is I was like putting out there on my blog, I could not find a planner that I liked for college. And so I would like find the closest planner that I could find and then I would add a ton of pages into it. And so people started requesting the pages that I was adding into it. So then I would do a download link to the page. And I would started realizing, okay, wait, people are actually downloading this. And then I was like, I'm gonna make it a free printable to get on my email list. And then people were, I was seeing how many people were doing that. And then I was like, okay, if this many people are doing that, like I'm going to create a full digital planner for a full year. And so I did that. People were downloading that even more, but I was getting constant feedback that it was a B-I-T-C-H to print it out, which like, yeah, that is horrible to print out. That's like $50 in printout. Um, so when we graduated, we were like, okay, we're going to very like, this was the most natural progression into a business probably that we had. We were like, this doesn't fit into the interior design business, but like this could be a business in itself. And one thing that I've learned with blogging is have your eggs in different baskets. And so we were like, let's create an actual tangible planner starting with college because that's what we know. And then eventually, and the college planner was like very type A, like so niche. Like if you are type B, you will think it's the stupid, stupidest planner on the planet. But if you are type A, this is the planner that you've been looking for forever, which was the feedback that we were getting on the digital one. And so we first created the under the by Sophia Lee name, we launched the first tangible college planner. Um, and we ordered 900 of them the first round. And that was such a learning curve, like figuring out factories, figuring out shipping. Um, oh my God, like so many things that we had to learn. What boxes, returns, customer service, like do we had to start Shopify for the website. Like there were so many things that we had to figure out. But when we launched that, we bought 900 of them and they sold within a month, um, which we were like, okay, we're on something. We were getting such positive feedback. So then we were like, at that point we had already graduated. So we, were, we had the college planner, but then we we're like, okay, well now we're out of college. Like the college planner is great for people in college, but now I need another planner that is for people like just for the normal person. So then we created the daily planner, which was essentially my dream planner for people that were out of school. And I, I started realizing like, wait, okay, there's a market out there for people with like very specific jobs and that are type A and we can just cre continue creating planners for this specific person. So at this point it was still under the by Sophia Lee name. Okay, this is where I'm gonna jump around. So hopefully, maybe we need like a diagram of the different ones. So basically, By Sophia Lee was a blog that I started. So everything was under By Sophia Lee at that time. Um, but then I wanna go back to how my original goal of starting a design firm. So once I graduated college, I moved into an apartment. So I was like, this is perfect natural progression for my dorm room. And then I'm gonna start talking about apartment decor. Um, so that's what I did. Like I already was a key player in the dorm room blog industry I would say because I built it up for two and a half years and so it was a very natural progression for me to start talking about my apartment decor so I copied the same strategies that I used for the dorm room and did it with my apartment like 
what you need for your first apartment. The furniture I was buying for my first apartment, um, tips, cleaning tips, organization tips, like etc. And I did that for a year. And then after the year of living in my apartment, I was like, all right, like there's only so much that I can write about apartments. Like this is my time to now get into the interior design, like residential industry. That was my goal from day one. But what didn't make sense was that, okay, so now I'm trying to do that, but then I also have the planners like that. How do I explain to people <laughs> what we do when I'm like, well, we do interior design oh wait no we also have planners like it was so confusing and we also realized just from like an accounting point of view like we didn't want something happening on the interior design side that affected the planners um so we were like okay we need to make the planner company a separate entity that like i am still full owner of i still market it on by Sophia Lee, but like it is its own individual company. And I also wanted something that wasn't necessarily like tied directly to my name because like by Sophia Lee, I was like, well, what if I die? You know, like what happens then? And so we named the planner company, The Daily. So it's like by Sophia Lee, L-E-E. -E. We have The Daily, D-A-I-L-E-E. -E. Um, and that is now its own individual company. The Daily Planners has grown bigger than I could have ever imagined it to grow like that is our biggest company right now um and it probably forever will be our biggest company like the scalability of that is crazy now we have multiple different planners um we have someone sarah is a huge player in the planners um and then we also have another girl her name's megan they are amazing and involved in the designing of the planners because a lot of it's like my okay you see how bright it is so i was like really busy on the blog side of things and growing the interior design side and but i knew that the daily was super important so that is i hired on megan to basically manage like the daily brand and then sarah also is like sarah is actually the manager of megan but they really handle the um, daily brand and just launching a product. And then I oversee everything as far as like design of planners, um, approving all covers for them, making sure that all of the pages are exactly what's in my brain, etc. Um, but I'm on, more on like the marketing side of things, which market the planner, which works so naturally because everyone knows that I'm so type A. Like it's just such a natural company for us to have. Um, and again, the eggs in the different baskets, like that makes me feel so much better. So we've sold out of every single planner that we've ever had. It's like actually crazy. And that all started because I started putting organization pages on my blog. So that's the daily. Um, we're going to continue doing very niche planners along with like pens and, you know, grocery lists and highlighters and things that go with planners. So that's that company um and then let's let's hop on back to the blog and the interior design firm so at that point i was i was ready to take the leap into interior design but i was only 23 and the projects that i wanted to take on i wanted to do very high-end residential projects so i did go to school for interior architecture that I was doing alongside of doing my blog, but I knew at 23, no one was gonna hire me to do their $200,000 kitchen remodel. Um, so even though I had, even though I could show them that I had good style for dorm decor and apartment decor, I knew that like this was another leap and it would just be really hard to get people to hire me on with essentially no experience. And so that's where I took the money that we were making from the blog. And at this point we were making like substantial money. Like we were making 65,000 plus a month on the blog. And I took that money and put it towards buying the um, a restoration. And so for this restoration, I my goal was to not make money on the actual project. My goal was to take my, I guess I had multiple goals. One, take my followers along with me and show them that, okay, I can actually design something. I also wanted to show the caliber of design. So it was, we ended up selling it for like almost $1.1 million. So it was a very high end house, which was also my goal to get into high end, high end interior design potential clients I could show. Um, and then hopefully I was also making an investment on the house. So I had the content, 
um, I had the portfolio and I had the investment of the house. So I thank God it was so risky. I barely slept that year. It was the most stressful year of my entire life. Thank God it all worked out. And that house was a took me to actually taking on clients. So once we finished that house, we sold it in September. I essentially started getting inquiries like right away for design clients. And I started taking on clients in October. Um, so that is how I actually was able to start the design firm side of things, which then we named BSL Studios. So to give you a quick roundup, as I'm like jumping all over, I hope you guys are following, but we have by Sophia Lee, which was the blog and social medias. Then I had the daily, which was the planner company. And now we have BSL Studios, which is the interior design firm. So they all play together, but they're separate at the same time. Um, and it was really important that for BSL Studios that we separated that business out right away. I hope you can't hear my dog. It was really important for the design firm side of things for that to be a separate entity because construction, I'm like, if I'm going to get sued anywhere, it's going to be in construction or I, who knows what's going to happen. And I don't want it affecting any of the other businesses. So we separated that out. So the interior design firm side is called BSL Studios. Okay. Now I'm going to backtrack even more. So th those are the three businesses that we have so far. Then we have one other business. Um, so when I started my blog and literally forever i have been a huge course taker like ginormous course taker that's one of the advice of the mom bloggers they were like look like take courses because you can pay a small amount of money learn someone's exact strategy who's very successful on whatever you're taking the course about and start making money faster otherwise you would have spent a year trying to figure out a strategy that you could have paid a hundred dollars to figure it out for um, so I, from day one of starting my blog, was taking courses and I swear that's one of the reasons why I was able to grow my businesses so much. I always say that and I seriously believe it. So as I started to grow my blog, I started to get more and more questions on how I was doing this. What were my strategies? Why did I do this? And why did I do that? And how did I make my content calendar? And how did I set up my website? And how do I set up my blog post? And why did I write this a certain way? And how do I do my Pinterest? And like literally I was getting questions all the time and so i was like okay i love taking courses i have very i'm very opinionated on how courses are set up because i've taken a lot of courses that bust like that were not good and i've taken a lot of really good courses um and i also was a college student so i was like there is money in education and i knew also about passive income so i had so many things going on in my head um where i was like it's time for me to start a course and um i first started perfecting blogging which was um my first course and perfecting blogging goes over everything on like the back end of the website on how i set up my website how i set up my blog post how i do my content calendar how i write my blog post what i do in the first paragraph versus the second paragraph headings keywords i mean oh my gosh so many different things so i created perfecting blogging course and that course did really really well and it was all passive income like i spent a whole entire month head down literally basically like i mean i was juggling other things because we had the other businesses but i was pretty focused just on the perfecting blogging and it was horrible like honestly i don't like creating courses but i'm such a perfectionist that they're just so detailed um but i was like oh my gosh i go and update it when it needs to be updated, but like this is basically passive income. A lot of people are buying it. I'm getting such good feedback. Like this is pretty amazing, you know? And then, so I was like, okay, people are asking about Pinterest strategy. So I went and created the Perfecting Pinterest, um, which the course did just as well. And like the feedback was better than I could have ever imagined. And then we did Perfecting Email, which was like the most complicated. I always say like, if you are just starting out your blog, do not buy Perfecting Email because it is so just like complicated. We, we made it as straightforward as possible, but it's just a complicated process. So that's how Perfecting Blogging Business started, which is the fourth business. And that is all like our blogging educational courses. I definitely don't plan on doing that for forever, but I was getting so many emails about how I was doing stuff. And I wanted to have something that was passive income that I was like, this makes complete sense to do. And that has also 
been unbelievable. Like I had no idea how much money courses could make, no idea, and just the power of passive income. Um, so if you wanna take one of our courses, you should. They're really, read the comments on our YouTube videos. Like people are so, we're so like, I'm biased obviously because I created them, but I created them in a very, very certain way on how I liked courses that I had taken. And I take the approach of, I'm not teaching you what to do. I'm showing you exactly what I do. Cause there's obviously a million different strategies that you can do. And so I'm not teaching all the different strategies. Like I'm just teaching you what has worked amazing for us and how I've been able to grow a seven figure business. Um, so that's kind of the plan with all of them. Um, and where we're at now, which now I have like, I'm only one person. There's only 24 hours in a day. And so there's certain things that I do. There's certain things that the team does. Um, but that's just the different businesses. I'd love to do like a part two answering questions that you guys have on like other random things on business and how I started it and how I'm growing it because I feel like that would be fun but I think that's it for now and it all started from the blog like every single one of those businesses started from the blog which is why I'm such a huge proponent of people starting blogs because it really can get you credibility in whatever type of business you want to go to so when you actually take the leap into doing a product or into offering services for that business it's like such a like natural like duh like of course i always give the example of dog food like if i ever wanted to start a start a dog food company like i'm gonna start a blog about dogs and i'm gonna show the readers and become known in the industry for dogs that like of course a dog food company makes sense like she knows so much about dogs she's gonna start a dog food company and that's like the example that i give for the other things like of course i started a planner business i was so particular about planners and I talk so much about it in organization and how type A I am and the different pages that I use like it made so much sense. Of course I started a design firm like I am obsessed with home decor and I have so much knowledge on it and I'm so opinionated about it like duh of course I started a design firm and then same with the, per the perfecting blogging all the courses like I take so many courses I've proven that my strategies are successful like of course so all of those were just very natural. I'm so blessed, so, so blessed. I'm so lucky to do what I do, but it's definitely work. Um, so check out my businesses. All of the businesses have specific websites for them at this point. So we have by Sophia Lee, we have perfecting blogging, um, and we have the daily. And now of course the camera is very dark, but I hope you liked that video. Put your questions below and I will see you at next week's blogging video.